What's going on everyone? Darkwater here and welcome back to Airport CEO and our recreation of the Singapore Chungi Airport. We are taking a look at Terminal 3 that we've got, I don't want to say up and running, but uh, it's getting closer. Uh, in between episodes, did tile work on the departure side. That tile ends up down here as well on the arrival area. And uh, today, kind of want to uh, see if we can get, rotate this way, see if we can get security in and kind of figure out where things are going to end up going. Um, hopefully you guys are uh, excited to be back and uh, continue our build here. Uh, just kind of graying out the uh, area that's downstairs. And apparently there's a piece of wall missing there. So kind of started mapping out where I do kind of want security to end up going. And I'm going to leave this area open because that's pretty much where the security checkpoints are going to go. So we're going to start by taking out this wall. The security area is carpeted. Then you hit this same tile as you go into this area where all of the shops are. There is kind of a blue carpet in the middle. This tile kind of goes up and out on the sides and then gray carpet the rest of the way. <coughs> but it's an interesting, I don't want to say pattern because I stared at it for quite a while and couldn't actually see a pattern. So yeah. Uh, this is the upstairs portion. We will get to that. Let's drop down one floor. And down in the first basement, we've got the arrival pickup and ride sharing doors. And so those are downstairs. Uh, looks like there are two escalators that take you from this floor to this floor as well as the elevators and then there is the bus area down here so we're gonna start with here and there's not a whole lot of space down there. So I think I'm going to do this right there. Uh, I don't know where we're going to put the other escalators. Because that's, that's an interesting question. Yeah, the escalators are basically right on top of each other all the way down. So you go down these escalators, there's another escalator that's basically underneath that. We can't do that. Um, so we might have to do something like that. To get down here. And we'll do the same thing, I guess, on this side as well. I'm not planning to uh, open things up, at least in this episode. It's going to be probably a little down the road. Which way does these go? It goes that way. Okay. <laughs> Wanting to, to make sure that I've got that going at least in the correct direction. Because you're coming down from that side, and you should end up over there. I believe that's correct. <laughs> uh, we'll find out once people decide to start to try and use escalators. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's deal with security, shall we? We've got those walls taken out. 
It's not zoned as secure here. So let's, you know what, we're going to do this one. Actually, hold on. Uh, where's terminal? You've got 10 stands and shops that aren't actually operating. So 10 stands, four large security. You've got six security and a bunch of shops that aren't open. I might go through and redo how these shops are basically laid out. Because I feel like we're going to be coming up against... Oh, that's not what we want. Uh, coming up against having uh, run out of shops at some point. Uh, you guys seem to be okay on this one. You can be opened. You guys are making sales, so that's okay. So I think, I mean, we're only using one, two, three, four, five five large stands and then four small so i think we could probably get away with four i say hopefully uh where's the center point it's here so we're gonna do one here and i don't think we're gonna go crazy with the queue Uh, these I might open up a little bit more on the sides so that we can kind of get a little bit of a uh, walkway to the bathroom. I think what it is is these should be spread out left and right a little bit more, but uh, I kind of like where they're at. So we'll, we'll go ahead and just kind of leave them there and make do. I could push these forward a little bit more. Uh, there are... But uh, security is basically right up against it. So we'll, we'll kind of leave this how it is. Uh, give me... not going to do a big security section. So something like that, I think. Give me carpet. Uh, give me the gray carpet. And I think it's to there, right? Yeah. Is that where I left it? No, down one more. Okay. So I think, if my math is correct, I think that is going to be our security area. I'm very hesitant to start to do some of this, given I did not copy that correctly. Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, given the fact that the game likes to, you know, drop people off at a different area and have them try and figure out how to walk all the way around. So we will grab some wall and hope that this is enough. Yeah, I'm going to take this forward just a little bit. There's bathrooms on either side. I was going back and forth in my head whether or not I wanted to uh, have the bathrooms in there. Although this is kind of a small enough walkway. Uh, there's... Yeah, literally bathrooms are the only thing that's there. So let's... Well, go ahead and run things. We will make this unsecure. That's not what I wanted. Let's try that again. So we'll do something like that. And that. Are, are we running? What are we doing, game? I'm just taking our time. Uh, G. G is still an issue with people getting checked in. And 
still going back and forth on flipping. Let's slide over here to terminal four. Changing one of these pads to at least have another one, maybe two check stands. Because I've got a feeling that this just is not working out. Okay. <laughs> I was taking a look here, trying to figure out how we were doing baggage on, over here, but it just goes straight up, so that's fine. Because I think I need another one of these, just one or two of these, to uh, get people checked in in a timely manner. But I'm not, I'm not 100% on that. Give me. I want to set that up, but at the same time, I don't want to do that because we're going to get people over here and we don't have a pickup or drop off zone here. So that gets people through security. Uh, we're going to need to take out a little bit of area here in order to handle immigration. So passport control. It's mostly automated. That's a short space. I think we'll do it here. Um, let me rezone that. Unzone that. There we go. Uh, we will do... Let's just do it here. I don't especially like it being that high up into the uh, the terminal. I mean, yes, I know we've got a lot of space. Uh, there's going to be some dead space in this area and this area, but uh, that's just going to be what we live with. Uh, where do you go? Are you? Yes, you're lined. Okay. Six. Seven. We'll do this as well, just so we're symmetric. And you know what? We're just gonna do a wall there. You know what? We're gonna do a window there. There are obviously small half wall, half gates here so that people don't just slide right through. So we'll, we'll fill it in with some wall for right now. So that'll get people to, well, through security and into the main terminal area itself. Look at that, we got security already there, working hard, that's exciting. Over here. So this wall comes over somewhere to about, I guess here. Yeah, there's gonna be quite a bit of dead space up here, but we will make do. There's an escalator down right about here. Can't cross different zones. That's fine, we will make sure it doesn't cross different zones because we're gonna come in and do, I guess, to there. What is that, one, two, three, four, five? One, two, three, four, One, two, three, yeah, here, okay. We'll take that over that way. There is also an elevator again. It's gonna have to live like that. Wall comes down to say there. Wall, wall. And wall. So far, so good. So that's going to get people 
downstairs to passport control and to baggage claim. Give me a window right there, because this is all open to downstairs. Over on this side, this is all secure part of the terminal itself. Do carpeting just to here. And again, the darker gray areas like this and this, those are open to below. I kind of want to bump that elevator over one square. We'll see if it we'll see if it annoys me enough to uh, to move it. Uh, what are we doing? How how? I don't. I don't even know how you guys got here. Oh, you got here via the walk later for whatever reason. I don't know why the game thought that was a good idea. So let's go ahead and do that and this. I don't think that's going to matter. Um, yeah, y'all are just going to be stuck for a minute. Oh, no, you guys are actually going through passport control. I find that the weird... Hold on. Game. Let me get this through my brain here. You're dropping people off most likely over here. People are going up the stairs. Going through here. Sliding over here to the walk -alators, coming down the walk -alators, following the path over here, going through security, going through passport control, walking all the way up here, all the way through Terminal 1, and all the way back down over here to Terminal 2. And we wonder why there are pathing issues. All I'm looking for is shortest distance between two points. At the end of the last episode, I was trying to figure out what we were doing with this whole area. I'm going to shrink this down. We're going to do a smaller window, and we're going to move that wall in a little bit. So it's going to come through here. And where does the... It's even with this wall. It is not symmetric, however. So we are going to come over to, say, here. You are going to come down to here and over. So that leaves us space for the walkway between here and the jewel, the walkway space from here to the hotel, depended upon we decide to put the hotel in. And that gives us room for security, or at least uh, escalators and elevators to get down to the next level so that we can actually, you know, get people through security. So you're going to be a smaller window. You go there and uh, did I do that right up against the, yes, I did. Okay. So you go here. Elevator goes here. I'm going to end up moving that other elevator. <laughs> so that's going to come across. This comes over here. You go down here. Square. Down. And there.
you can go as an international zone. It didn't look even there for a second because this is a lot closer than this one is. Uh, that same tile runs through both of those as well as baggage claim. And since we're here, let's flip twice, and yes, we're actually going to put baggage in here. Kind of want to get baggage settled, or at least the baggage claim area settled, before we get too deep. Uh, this is the center point. Uh, I believe that's the center, yes. Looks centered to me. You're going to go that way. So on the right hand side is belt 44. Let's see if we can uh, get this to follow a somewhat reasonable path. That's not bad. I, I'm okay with that length, width. Uh, one, two, three, four. These are a little bit... I don't know what the word I want is, but they've got a little bit more uh, width to them. And there are quite a bit of plants to them as well. So there's a lot of just planters that run. What happened there? You're going down. Yes, thank you. That's what I wanted. And you go like that, and like that. So we can take out that wall, that wall. So this is belt 44 on the right, 45 on the left. There is a little bit of space in between belt 43 and 46, respectively. Uh, 46 is similar to this one, but it sticks out a little bit longer, so we will... Uh, you know what? Let's pause for a second. I just want to grab that. We'll... Oh, that's... that's going to be a tight fit. This is kind of why I wanted to do this now. Well, maybe not. So, 43. I am going to tweak that a little bit. Uh, 42 is almost right next to it. And then there's a little space and... Belt 41. Okay, now let's clean up this nightmare. You go up further. You just go in a simple loop. And you, uh, that's belt 41, is ever so slightly shorter than belt 44. So, baggage, conveyor belts, you're gonna go across there, uh, you need to go down there, down, up, you need to go up, over, down. And so, hmm, I stand corrected, 42 goes about to the same height as 43 and 41's a little bit shorter because there are shops that live here after you pass through passport control which is going to live right about here 
And I think I'm good with that. Let's come through. We'll copy you. Uh, no. Your left, your left. You'd be right. I need to copy this guy. And so you're a full square apart, like that. At the end, you're two squares, like that. And then you would go down right here. Then there's a full square. One, two, three, four, yep. One, two, three, four, right here. Now we go back through and clean things up. You are fine. You go, you go, you go, you go, you go, you go. And that should take care of all of that. This mess needs to go. You need to go and you need to go. I think that's correct. You also need to get Shrank down a little bit. So you're coming up. You go that way. And you go down. Uh, this is the same height. And you are this height. So yeah, I did get that correct. Just make sure that's going in the correct direction. And yes, it is. And then we go ahead and let you guys build. Uh, let's come through with taking this out a little bit. And we're going to take this back one square. So that's uh, seven little squares. That's not even. Where is that off? That's three, not four, that's why. Take this out as well. Uh, you need to uh, actually tell you what, can I, if I copy this, I said if I copy this and do that, okay, perfect. So you just need to slide over one square, and then you take out that guy and that guy, and that's that's fine. There we go. So now we just need passport control. There are bathrooms down here, but I've yet to get a good look to see specifically where they're at, because it kind of looks like they're just uh, past passport control but I haven't been able to track down specifically where they're at so we'll come through needs to make sure it goes in the correct direction we'll do the uh, the manned one on the side here and everybody else will be just automated one two three four five six seven six eight and that'll work. We will come through with uh, a little bit of wall through here like we normally do because we don't need people skirting the system trying to weasel their way past through here. Uh, we will, I said through there, thank you. Oh, we can go ahead and, oh, no, not there, not there, okay. Same thing over here. Why do I feel that's just not even? Give me my handy dandy measuring tape. 13, 13, that'd be 15. That's 15. Yeah, I guess that's correct. Okay, well, cool. We will. Nope, give me the other one first. 
you are down here. You'd be basically there. So that's what, four, eight, four, seven. Ah, because I was off a square. You go there. Okay. Let's bump that forward one square, make everything nice and symmetrical. We will come over here, grab all of this, flip, flip. And boom, we've got ourselves some passport control. We will get a last piece of wall, put it up there. Uh, we just need to finish all the baggage carousels here. Make sure that it's going in the correct place, please. There, there, and there, and we'll do the other direction, and that is a bunch of baggage carousels. We've got two baggage bays down here. Uh, we've got Genius, who's going to be stuck for a bit. Uh, for right now, you know what, we will give you an exit that you can go out and i think that's going to be a good place this is going to be just temporary for these uh interesting passengers but i'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here thank you all for watching i appreciate you guys for being here and i look forward to seeing you guys again in airport ceo and as always hope you guys have yourselves a fantastic day mm -hmm.